all right guys so welcome back to another video today i have someone really special um he's uh in the app store uh, his name is uh sean welcome sean welcome to the channel man how are you doing thank you very much for having me on it's uh, nice to finally meet you yeah and you live in uh switzerland so we're really close to each other i guess yeah not far away i'm in uh in Bern, switzerland so right in the middle um, okay you have a YouTube channel, um, and um, basically you play in the App Store. That's something that, man, I, I guess in the U.S. that's equivalent to the uh, Web.com tour, right? That's it will be something like. Yeah, no, not not quite as high up as Web.com. So uh, Alps Tour is uh, like a third tier tour. So Alps Tour is below Challenge Tour, and I guess right. you could sort of class Challenge Tour like Web.com. So. Challenge okay, tour. We have the, the App Store, then the Challenge Tour, and then the uh, European Tour, right? Yeah. That's the one, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, that's yeah. still at, at a really high level. I've been looking at it, and I know a few people here from this area, too, that uh, some uh, kid that, you know, is trying to make it to the App Store. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the, the process? I mean, you, you've been in the tour for a while now, right? Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I, I haven't haven't got off the tour. Obviously, that's the that's the goal to come here to finish in the top five, and then top five on the order of merit gets to go into uh, the challenge tour the following season. So, unfortunately, I haven't been uh, lucky enough to finish that high up. I think the highest I've finished is twenty eighth in the order of merit in my first year when I was over here. So, I've been here for four seasons now. Yeah, the the process is. It's very, very simple. It's Q school. Uh, you pretty much pay pay the money to go and try and qualify to get onto the tour. If you get onto the tour, you get a category, and then that allows you to play for the following season. Basically, uh, they're having one in Rome, and I saw it that it was like 700 euros to just to participate. And uh, and you're with like 150. Uh, I mean, they, these are all pros, right? You have to be a pro first, right? No, 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 you don't. You can uh, you can be an amateur as well. Something. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not quite sure what the handicap cutoff is. Um, like, I've been pro for seven years. I was pro for sort of four years in, in New Zealand as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I didn't, I didn't really look at what you have to be as an amateur. But, yeah, absolutely, it's 700 euro entry fee. Um, yeah. There's two stages. So if you were new to the tour, uh, you'd have to go through first stage. Uh, I'm lucky enough that I've... I've played this year and I've made a cut, which allows me uh, one of the exemptions to go from first stage into the final stage. Mm -hmm. um, so it still cost me 700 euro. It doesn't matter if you're at first stage or final stage. Well, hold on, still, but you, you paid the 700 euros and you, you have to get to at least the top 50, right? To get a car for the app store. Um, if you get to the final stage, um, so the final stage, there'll be 144 players. Um, and it's okay. top top 30 get a category six card uh, 31 to 65 get a category eight card mm -hmm. and then 66 to 140 so just for competing in the final stage you'll get a category nine card but category nine is very very low you'll probably maybe only get into one or two events for the year not many at all right all right, all right. So you rely on. because i was thinking man i mean you know someone who pays all this money and then you know you you get to go back empty-handed i mean nothing not even so you know if you participate and uh at least you can get at least one invite maybe maybe but you know there's hope for that like in the whole year uh yeah mate like this uh the start of the year they they have uh they're normally in a normal season, this season's been a little bit off because yeah. of coronavirus, but they'll have uh, three to five tournaments in Egypt at the start of the year. So that's a little bit like a, it's a bit, a bit of a pay and play. So mm -hmm. you, if you pay the money, which it's a lot of money in Egypt, but if you pay, you can potentially play those ones. So if you can get off to a nice start, as in, you know, win a tournament, then you can get a better category that way. So right. there are ways. Right to get into more events if you don't get a good category at Q school. But if you can go to Q school and finish in the top 30, mm -hmm. you know, the whole season is sorted. You can pretty much right, plan the whole right, season. Right, so that's right. that's everybody's goal when they go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think, you know, a lot of people think that it's, yeah, you know, you just turn pro, you start playing. It's, you know, I think it's really difficult. I mean, 
especially you you have to like get in the top 10 a lot right to get some uh you know to get some earnings at least at the beginning you have to you know to make a living i imagine it's really you know it's not that easy because you know there's a lot of good players out there and i've seen it because i know like this kid who is uh 18 years old like he he has like a plus four handicap or something but uh even for him it's tough because you know there's a lot of people just like him you know and absolutely absolutely yeah. like my like my father always said if it was easy everybody would do it so exactly right the thing is easier than than it, what it actually is you know it's like oh yeah you know just starting the european tour man to get there is is tough yeah absolutely if, you, if you're lucky enough to sort of go from amateur ranking straight into european tour mm -hmm. within the first sort of one or two years then obviously you can start making a living but if you're on alps tour you're not making a living mm -hmm. even if you're on challenge tour you're you know you're you're probably not quite breaking even as well uh so it's really you've got to get to the main tour but once again those boys are spending a lot of money to travel all over the world to play golf yeah. so yeah. you know like sure it's it's one of the main reasons why i'm doing my youtube channel is just just to like let i say to a lot of people yeah i'm a professional golfer and everyone goes wow that must be amazing well it is amazing don't get me wrong i mean i'm traveling around europe playing the sport i love um obviously it's a dream job but you know it's not all you know five-star hotels and driving around in nice cars and getting a nice paycheck at the end of the week it's not that you have to perform and you know the the way to perform is to to put yourself up in a nice place pay the extra money pay for the nice meals like your, your body is your engine you know you need your body to play golf so you have to look after yourself mm -hmm. um so it does cost a lot of money um but obviously you know for the top guys the european tour the rewards are, yeah. are, are massive those guys are <laughs> like i'm living my dream but they're literally living the dream right so t so tell me this now your goal obviously for you uh you you have to like get in like top 10 or even win some events right so if you if you win a couple of like events in the app store I, you start getting some uh invites to go play in the in the challenge tour is that how it works or coming from new zealand uh, a little bit harder like i guess if there was an italian on the tour and maybe you won a couple of events in Italy or wherever. I'm sure the Italian Federation will will see he's putting his hand up, and then probably he'll get some invites to the Italian Challenge Tour events. Mm -hmm. uh, but me being a Kiwi, it's a little bit harder than that. Um, so my the goal is just to concentrate on Alps Tour, finish in the top five on the order of merit, and get my Challenge Tour card that way. For me, that's realistic. Um, if I got an invite to a challenge show event, it would be, it would be amazing. But I, I, I feel like they're going to put the the locals in before they'll put somebody from New Zealand. In. I see. Um, yeah. Right it, now it, you're in the you're like top fifty, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm fifty second on the order of merit at the moment with one more tournament to go in Italy okay. in Rome. Uh, but I am relying on a tournament invite to get into that event. I'm about sixtieth reserve. It's a really small field. It's only 86 in the field. Um, so mm -hmm. if I play and I make the cut, then I will finish in the top 50 for the year, which will save me from going to Q school. Wait, wait, hold on. Then, hold on. Let me get this straight. So you have to be in the top 50. Otherwise, you have to redo everything again. Yeah, top top 50 on the order merit. So obviously, one to five, get your challenge to a card. Uh, number six to 30, get, I'm not sure, it might be like category three. So you've got full playing rights for the following year. I see. And then cat and then 31 to 50, it might be category, I think, seven. So it's pretty much full playing rights as well. So okay. pretty much if you finish in the top 50 mm -hmm. the previous season, you will play you'll play a hundred hundred percent of the events the following year. Uh you know, I see your, your channel and uh, you got some good content there. And uh how long have you had your channel for? Um, I just started just before coronavirus started. So oh, okay, okay, that's um, really interesting. And I know that it could be hard because I've seen some of the videos you tried to um, show. You know, it's really quite interesting, actually. You know, um, you know when you got into playing tournaments, and I think you know that's a little 
uh, tough too, you know, because if you bring in some uh, some equipment on top of having all the pressure playing on tour, you know, that's uh, uh, actually I never seen anybody anybody else doing that. So that's quite unique. Yeah, it's it, exactly. I mean, like I think it's a golfing a golfing thing. Like you want to help people that you know maybe struggle to play golf or you you see them doing what you used to do or you know you just they're just struggling so you obviously want to help them out but mm-hmm. at the same time I'm not I'm not ready to be a coach because I'm still a player I'm still focused 100% on like my game playing right. golf um but at the same time I sort of I want to you know to give back and I think YouTube is a you know a great platform to mm-hmm. Right. You know, to make a brand for myself. So maybe, maybe in the future, I might start getting paid from YouTube. Maybe this might be just a way to make a brand for myself, and maybe I, I become a European Tour player. Right. Obviously, that's the, the goal. Or maybe, you know, it might be my CV that I hand people when I'm going to try and get a job outside of golf or in the golf industry when I finish. So right. that's sort of just where the way I'm looking at it. And yeah, like I say, I have a lot of people, you know, especially from Australia and New Zealand, because, you know, I've lived there asking me how I'm going and what's going on. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of those people are, you know, they've never seen Europe and I get to play golf in Europe. So I'm, you know, on a train. And so I I thought maybe I can bring a little bit of content um, away when I'm going from, you know, tournament to tournament, because like I say, it's not all. You know, some of the hardest days on tour are travel days. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you're mm-hmm. sitting, you're traveling for 10 hours just to get to a tournament. Alps tour I've played in um, Austria, Italy, France, Spain. Um, so they're the main, the main venues. I've also played in uh, Luxembourg, Tenerife, uh, Caribbean. So... <laughs> Uh, there's a French island in the Caribbean. We went in, in Guadeloupe. We played there. So, like, you know, these places I'd never ever thought of going to play golf, and we're playing okay. there. As but, so, there. when there's a tournament and you're eligible to play it, uh, is there a fee to enter it, or is that cover? Yep. There is yep. a fee. No, to there's an entry fee every week. It's 155 euro. Um, For each tournament. Yeah, this tour, this tour is very. It's pretty good though that they. Uh, 155 everything's included so your yardage books included um and then like just all the little stuff like banana uh mm-hmm. water mm-hmm. uh golf tees you know at the moment hand sanitizer mm-hmm. everything's included in that 155 okay. so i know there's other tours around that you you know you might pay 150 euro to enter but then you still have to pay for your yardage book on top of that. And you, all right, all right. You know, there's you get your own water. Just it's all the little things they do well. Right. And do you do you can you get a caddy or is that optional? Uh yeah, caddy is absolutely optional. Uh third tier, it's not compulsory to have a caddy. Mm-hmm. Um you don't really see many guys that do have caddies. There are there have been some guys that have gone through the tour that have had caddies, but they're normally superstars. They're normally, mm-hmm. you know like Jack Singbar from uh, England. He turned up here to caddy in Egypt and now he's a European tour player. So there are a couple of guys that have full-time caddies, not many, I would say maybe five, six, not many. And then you, you know, you obviously when you go to the local events, the local guys will have their, their caddies, their friends or their parents or somebody caddying for them. But this year it's uh, strictly no caddies because of coronavirus. Yeah. So it's uh, yeah. yeah. There's a lot, a lot of rules this year, and I'm sure it'll probably seep into next year as well. So we uh, we get information before we go to every event what we can do and we can't do, pretty much. So. And let me ask you this: So do you do you think a lot of people who are like in the same, uh, you know, in the Alps store, or maybe similar to you, do you, a lot of people have other jobs, or do they do just full time golf, or can they even do that? Because obviously it would affect their their golf practice and everything. How is that? Um, yeah, I'm sure there are guys out there that do have jobs. Um, maybe maybe a little bit seasonal, like as in uh, normally the season's done about an hour until um, March for a lot of guys. So maybe they work through the winter. Um, I've been lucky enough that I 
haven't had to work. Um, not that I don't want to work. I I have a little bit of a language barrier over here, being a being an English speaker in a in a right. German speaking country. So uh, for me to get a job, I obviously need to work yep. on my German so I can get in. Um, but but yeah, I'm sure there are a lot of guys out there that you know there are some guys that coach mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So they'll go home to their course and coach and then come and play tournaments. Um, but yeah, normally the tour is between sort of 15 and 20 tournaments a year. So that's pretty much 20 weeks off a year. If you do have a job, you, you have to take 20 weeks off. You know, How many hours a day do you practice as a normal routine? Uh, it's sort of changed over the years. Um, this, this year has been a little bit funky, obviously because of coronavirus, but since the lockdown sort of eased up over here and golf courses opened, I've probably played like probably an average of four, four times a week mm -hmm. um, and practice just a little bit where I used to be just, you know, the first two years while I was here, I was a 100% practice on the range mm -hmm. and I've become mm -hmm. a range bunny. I absolutely love the process. Don't get me wrong. Like I will, you know, if I have to fix something on the range, I'll be there fixing it. Um, but I sort of just lost my way of how to get the ball in the hole on the golf course when I went to tournament. So right. I've just been playing on the golf course, getting the ball in the hole. Because, you know, there's, there's a million ways to make a par. Right. A million ways. You know, it doesn't have to be the perfect golf swing off the tee and the perfect shot into the green. And, you know, it doesn't have to be that. There are ways to get the ball in the hole. So just taught myself again I, I guess playing this year mm -hmm. how to get the ball in the hole and I actually had a couple of events this year where I've hit it horrendous mm -hmm. like so bad like hitting four or five fairways around hitting three greens and still shooting one under par just because I've got the ball in the hole when I had to so mm -hmm. um yeah it's just I guess yeah that's I can't really put a number on how much I train because I do, I do class going to the gym as my job. Right. So if you want, if you want to add up I mean. all that, then, you know, you know, even just going for a walk, you know, you know, with the wife, that's sort of, it's part of, it's part of the job in the way because it's fitness, you know? So if you want to add up all those hours, I don't know, but. I'm quite happy to stand on a putting green for two or three hours and putt. Wow. Because at the end of the day, honestly, that's the only difference between the top level and our level is, is the, putt, yeah. the top level guys can putt. Even at your level, you will say that because I know in, you know, amateurs is always the short game. So even in your level, you will say it's the same. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, when I first came over to the Ops tour, I remember standing on the range and looking down the range and, watching everybody swing and going, holy, anybody here can win. Um, and then, you know, you put them on a range on the European tour, they'll blend in. They won't look out of place. Everybody can hit the ball. Um, you know, obviously, it's the person that hits it the best that for the week will win, but at the end of the day, it's the person that has the least putts as well will win. So, you know, it's just holding those you know, 20 footers that we don't normally make on the European tour, the guys that are winning, you know, they're making six or seven of them a tournament. So, and, you know, just even the, you know, the five foot parts, like what's it, what's your percentage on five footers? You know, very, very high on the European tour. Mm -hmm. Head to the Alps tour, it's probably very, very, very different. So, yeah, it's, yeah. it's all, it's all about the short, it's, Like it's a very, very well run tour. Mm -hmm. um, like it's probably, you know, me being a Kiwi, I come from New Zealand. I not, I didn't know where to go. So I sent an email saying I'm coming over for a holiday. Is there any chance that I can have a go on your tour? Give me an invite, see what it's like, and then I'll potentially play the Q school. And mm -hmm. Alps tour replied within 24 hours and said, yes, you can have an invite and you can play in this event. So I came over and I played in the event. Um, I remember shooting 71-71. Mm -hmm. 
and which was par par and it was about 40 degrees i've never played golf in that temperature i was patting myself on the back saying like well played should make the cut ended up missing the cut by one so that was my first experience on the alps tour i think i've been here well i've been here four seasons and i think i've probably played three tournaments maybe four tournaments where the cut has been over par every every week the cut is under par uh you know i've mostly most events if you get to three under par after two days you're you're potentially going to be on the cut line um you just can't go out there and shoot four over because in the first day because you know the next day you're going to have to shoot seven under absolutely you can shoot seven under but seven under doesn't happen all the time (laughs) normally if you shoot seven under you're probably in with a chance to win that week so and this is just to to uh, to get in the cut. I mean, you're talking about that's just to pass the cut, right? Yeah. So the cuts are top forty and ties on the Alps Tour. So most weeks are between 125 players and 144 players are the big fields, and it's still top forty are the cuts. So I played one event in Spain. Sure, it was a short golf course. The the hole's still the same size. You still got to get the ball in the hole. Um, I shot four under, four under, and missed the cut by two. Mm-hmm. The cut was ten under par after two days. Top forty in ties. Okay. But right. that most most weeks it's around about three under is the cut. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah. Uh, but you know that was my first experience on experience on the Alps tour, and then I I enjoyed it. It was very well run. Mm-hmm. I was very um welcome when i turned up to the event you know obviously being somebody from the other side of the world i i wasn't expecting too much but it was it was amazing so i put my name down for the q school and come over to play q school in spain every week we have guys from you know 16 different countries playing this event uh, these events so you know there's guys flying from all over the place to play alps tour it's very well recognized there's lots of superstars come off like uh, like Matt Wallace, he's top 50 golfer in the world now. Um, Adrian Arnos, he was there. The Spanish guy, he was there two years ago. He's on European tour. And now I forget the guy, um, what his name is. He finished second in Wentworth last week in, uh, in uh, the UK there on the European tour. He finished second. He was on the Alps tour a few years ago. Mm-hmm. You know, so there are big names coming off the Alps yeah, tour. Like Manacero. Did you ever play with Manacero or no? No, I haven't played with Manacero, but... The last Italian event I was there, he won that event. Yeah. Ah, oh, you you played that you you played in that tournament. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I shot I shot five under and finished five under for three days and finished I think fortieth. So it's okay. yeah. You got to like the winner of a, an event like this. How much? Uh, I mean, I've seen it, but I, I don't remember now. It's um, it depends on the event or is it al- almost just a standard always? It depends on the band, mostly. Uh, norm- normally, it's standard. So most most Alps tour events are around about forty thousand dollars prize purse. Mm. So for the whole event, uh, so normally the winner picks up. I think it's about five thousand eight hundred euro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's it's not going to change your life by any means, but it will help you out if you can win. You know, a couple for the year, then you probably look very good to finish in the top five but so the only thing that i that i don't like is that um shouldn't you have like more events i mean it should be playing like every because you said that overall how many events you play a year uh yeah between sort of 15 and 18 events but 15 okay so um, that's not that's like almost just once a month basically a little more than that but yeah i mean yeah, so it, it would be much better if it was like every two weeks you have an event right Absolutely, but at the end of the day, it comes down to sponsorship. So, mm-hmm. you know, like we need sponsors to play events. So mm-hmm. it comes down to that. It's not as if Alps Tour could have twenty-five tournaments a year. I'm sure they would. It comes down to sponsors, and sponsors, yeah. as we're a third-tier level, you know, there's social media is obviously helping. Um, you know, hopefully, my YouTube stuff helps um just to just to you know get sponsors out there because at the end of the day they're they're putting money into these events so we can play so as players we we have the best of the deal we just turn up play the golf course in the best condition 
get on the plane or the train and go to the next event where right. these events take over a year yeah, it, you know, to plan. Exactly. But if, if you think about it, like the web.com, they have an event every week, right? Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, it's, it's sponsors and yeah. publicity and yeah, that makes a huge sense. Um, unfortunately, like mate, potentially in the next five or 10 years time, you might not see any mini tour golf going on. Mm -hmm. so it's just the way it's just the way it's going to be honest but yeah it makes it all that better to obviously try and be better and get to obviously european tour and then mm -hmm. you know then you're playing for some good money up there yeah definitely definitely mm -hmm. okay sean so well thank you very much for all the information i think that's uh, really helpful Thank you very much for uh, for answering all the questions, and um, I wish you the best of luck on your tournaments. And actually, I'll be following you, and uh, I downloaded the um, the App Store app, you know. So, you know, I'll yeah. be seeing you there too. So, thank you for having me on. It's been a no been problem. a pleasure. Okay, until next time, man. Thanks. All right, ciao.